We also have assigned cells. So Ooh, this changes yeah. upon arrival at Bolingbroke Penitentiary, inmates will be allocated a cell for the full duration of their sentence. While in their assigned cells, inmates will have access to quickly change between prison uniforms, a small item storage stash, and more. So, like lock, lock storage for DFC. Uh, yeah, we have we a ha safe now, but yeah, we have a safe. Yeah, like five thousand oh, yeah. kilograms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or if the way I see it is like instead of just like oh, I show up to prison and I just immediately walk out, but it's like okay, now I actually have like kind of like a little bit of like a little home base while I'm in jail, like my actual cell. I can store some stuff there. Maybe they're introducing some other stuff. And probably really good, especially for the lifers coming in, so that they can like you know build up their own little prison stash. I don't. I mean, I didn't. I haven't. If I, when I do go to prison, I don't usually like. I don't think I've been to prison in four point oh like l l long. What is a stash? There were no stashes oh, before. God, dude. Yeah. No. No. I was there for like five days one time for terrorism, like the beginning. There was <laughs> Did you stash it? No. No. There was nothing there at all. Um, you know, you, now, though. you know, how, you know how like you can leave stuff on the floor and it'll stay there. Yeah, that's that's how it was before. Like you'd as a guard, you'd be walking around and then there'd be a bush and you'd look inside and it's got fucking 200 knives and wrenches <laughs> and maybe a gun. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy that there's a, a, a bunk that people can hide their things in now because we're going to flip that shit, and if they're smart, they're not going to put it in their bunk. They're going to hide it in a bush somewhere where we no will ne never look. Well, and I, I messed with it yesterday. We're able to search stashes, but it takes forever, and you're just kind of, like, out in the open. So, like, I, I don't... Yeah. Uh, okay, it's a, it's a percentage. What do you want from me, right? Like, I can't make it move faster, but... Uh, so I don't, I don't know that there's like different situations and stuff that can come from that. So like you guys are going to be like searching someone's stash and then like maybe some prison inmates come fucking jump you while you're doing that. Yeah. And I, I mean, I don't want to like make us seem weak, but how many times has the prison gotten overthrown by prisoners or by just like oh anybody? I mean, like <laughs> no, the fact that we, we lose jail? control like once no. an hour. Okay. And, and so like, I don't want to put that in people's heads, out. but like, Ramp. There's a difference between like losing control and the prison being taken over. It's only been taken over three times. I've kept count three How many times. Guns do we completely... have? How many guns do we have now? Huh? It's just, that's because of the, the Civil War, but we move on from that. I remember in 3.0, that used to be like a stash mechanic too. But the issue with that stash mechanic is the only place you could hide something was in your bunk. So as a guard, like it was shitty to go into that person's bunk and completely wipe all their progress but now that you can like leave stuff and you don't have to put it in your bunk we're not gonna feel as bad flipping it mm -hmm. okay i have another really uh this this change is is crazy to me and this is another one where i feel like people jumped the gun seeing the like the debtors one and i i actually didn't even see this when i looked at the change this one's crazy inmate sh shackled inmates will have limited movement Unable to use weapons, but they'll be able to leave the prison guards without being sent back to their cells, allowing them to work off their sentence in the community under lock and key. That's uh, that, Oh, did I cut it, out it, there? No, no, no we no, heard you. That's a huge buff. Oh, my, my, sorry, we had small F on, on my stream. That's my bad, guys. I, uh, um, I'll write it. I need to write in more applications for people so I can pay Spectrum. Anyway, sorry, I'll repeat that one. So inmate shackles. Inmates can now be shackled. Shackled inmates will have limited movement and be unable to use weapons, but they'll be able to leave the prison guards without being sent back to their cells, allowing them to work off their sentence in the community under lock and key. That's fucking well, and sick. When I, when I read that, I got excited about being able to take the prisoners to work at senior buns so that we could get some food, like so that there's actually people working in there for once. So I, I don't, I think it's like, if we get the prison bus and like can take them on field trips to do like community service and stuff, I, I feel like there's like a lot of like funny. It and sounds fun like felonies stuff. waiting to happen. Have them oh, clean yeah. up trash. Yeah, that probably wouldn't probably wouldn't hurt. Yeah, I, and and I think I think what what maybe I, this is this is and correct I'm I'm correct if I'm wrong, but like I think a lot of people look at the the debtors prison. And maybe even something like this, and like, oh, these are all systems to get people to like grind more. Whereas I'm like, no, when they say like work off their sentence in the community, like 
that can be like role, like literally role play work, like go clean MRPD. So now you have like a bunch of the clowns, I don't know, maybe in shackles, clean, you know, cleaning MRPD, not, not via mechanics, but just via pure role play. And that's fucking funny. Like I, I like the kind of scenarios that we can do, like in a lot of ways, I actually feel like this breaks us out of working mechanics. The fact that like you guys yeah. have discretion for the debt. Like uh, to me, I almost think like, oh my God, debt is this massive amount of money that can be paid off via role play work, which is, I think, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the The main thing I like about the shackles is everybody like has different ways of role playing. Sometimes you run into people that you know you down maybe three four times they get back up and they're back at it again. And the only countermeasure to like that type of shit back before this update was either like soft cuffing them and just, you know, giving them like a bit of time out or like throwing them in a cell or something, which we've never done because nobody stayed long enough for it to get that bad. <laughs> With these shackles, I, we've tried the shackles. It forces you to walk slow. That's the only hindrance it does. It forces you to walk slow, but you can do everything else. You can still punch how, and shit or whatever. How, so slow, how slow do you walk? Like uh, if your leg was broken, right? Oh, okay. maybe even a little slower than that. Mm, okay. that would so be like, cool yeah it's a really good way to like handle people who uh you know keep swinging like they got rabies or something yeah. <laughs> bro i'm thinking like oh brother where art thou like we're gonna see like a line oh, of, yeah, of, yeah, of yeah, like yeah. people yeah. in like orange jumpsuits like ro yeah. going along the road with like bobby and fucking uh, oh my god Scotty them like so leading them. Funny. Oh, that's gonna be such a scene Dude, I gotta make a DLC character. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna make El Sub my DLC character. Really? Yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah. What kind of, so uh, I I'm curious, like what kind of um what kind of do you guys have any ideas of like so that I mean I, I know you guys just saw the update, but seeing you guys can now take prisoners out of the prison, like what what jumps to your mind, Scapier, Dave, James? No. Like, what do you guys want to do we, with that? We could always take prisoners out of prison. Like, there have been times where I'm just going to out myself. I've let prisoners, like, use a s scuff to, like, break out of prison, right? Yeah. And I play into it. And then they wake up at the hospital. We did this once, and Bobby caught a felony. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yep. They, they say they, why Bobby catches a felony. I mean, it's like we got <laughs> entrapped by the fucking mayor. It was of bullshit. We call did. him and he says, "Hey, you can do it." We answers and says, "Yeah, go for it." We, we get the green light from the mayor, and then we catch a <laughs> felony after he lies about it. Fucking crooked mayor, man. But yeah, that's what happened. Uh, so they could leave before. The only reason we don't do that is because roleplay hasn't allowed us to do that yet. So we got to work towards that. We still have no. We have no powers outside the prison, and if we step outside the prison, Duncan, Slack, Aziz, all these guys are waiting for us. Yeah, yeah. So this Damn is, straight. So yeah, we just gotta wait for like the RP opportunity for something like that to open up to us. And now well, I, I, haven't, day one. I haven't really gotten to use it, but we we have a prison bus, but like, it does it like function? Because no, I, I feel it like doesn't work. It doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, they've got, to, like, they've got yeah. to get that working for the just yeah because if, if we were able to like literally go on field trips with the prisoners and like make them Working go like nine to five <laughs> yeah right oh, make eleven oh, yeah wait, you guys need a garage a... inside as well and just buy like no. those speedo vans uh, from most we do have a garage now I think we, we have, have a garage a... now yeah there's, there's, a, there's a personal I don't know if it's a shared but there's a personal garage up, up yeah there's a personal road. garage inside kind of like where the old motor pool used to be 3.0. Did you say so, buy a car? We get 500 an hour and it all goes into you. bullets. Every one, single thing <laughs> yeah, goes into bullets. Well, see, maybe you shoot people. Bullets. Don't shoot people, man. Use your baton now, or something. Now, you don't have a baton. baton. <laughs> yeah, what baton? Yeah, baton. <laughs> it's either shoot or stab them, dude. It's hell in there. There's Use no your face. The batons, the batons are weak. Use a wrench. <laughs> yeah. yeah, batons are pretty weak, actually. 